Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Angel Advice. This is going to be a Gemini reading for August 20th to the 22nd. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And we did have that Aquarius full moon on August 18th, whenever you're, I mean, 19th, whenever you're watching this video, which is really good for like, um, going towards the life that it is that you're wanting to live. Like, you know, the person that you're wanting to be, the lifestyle that you're wanting to live, the job that you're wanting to have, you know, um, that's what the Aquarius full moon is good for, you know, kind of like setting forward your intentions. Anyways, okay, so Gemini, you versus them for August 20th to the 22nd, 2021. Gemini for August 20th to the 22nd, 2021. One more shuffle, Gemini, you versus them. August 20th to the 22nd, 2021. So you guys could be using the law of attraction right, right now to manifest not only a person, but the things that it is that you're wanting, the places that you're wanting to go, um, the goals, you know, uh, things that you're wanting to do and achieve, businesses that you're wanting to start, things like that with this attraction card. But I also feel like with this girl, how she's stopping and smelling the roses, it's like you're also kind of enjoying the present moment. Like, yes, you are using the law of attraction, but... Like, you're still enjoying your friends and family and where you currently are at. See, love yourself first. You know, this is just kind of like you're preparing yourself for your future. Yeah, let your friends help you. So, um, again, don't be afraid to enjoy yourself. Uh, sometimes, you know, with the spiritual path, it can, you know, the spiritual path, you know, the path to righteousness is very straight and narrow, right? But, um there's nothing wrong with having casual relationships, you know, friendships and stuff like that. Okay, with this forgiving and learning, you could be forgiving yourself and learning how to relive your life or just forgiving people with this romantic feelings here, uh, forgiving a person. It's like, you know, they could have been holding back where they weren't really expressing their love to you. And it's like now they're starting to uh, express more romantic feelings. You know, it's like they could have been holding on to a lot of resentment, bitterness, negativity. So it's like they weren't really expressing love. And it's like now they're starting to be more romantic. And and if they're not, it's letting them know that, you know, spirit is letting them know that right now is a good time for them to be romantic towards you and be lovey-dovey and all cuddles and all that. Um, you know, because you guys are both kind of forgiving and learning how to re-love each other. You know, forgiving yourselves or forgiving each other for the past treatments an engagement see your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so and this is like friends becoming lovers or like lovers becoming more, you know the bond is strengthening see this could be like a new person where it's becoming a stronger connection or like a past person where the love is true okay um and it's like there was just a lot of self-worth issues you know it's like um and you guys have to kind of just understand that it's safe for you guys to love you know just be more light-spirited Okay, because either way with this engagement card and finances and career, things could have got very serious for you guys, especially with, you know, the state of the economy and the whole world. You know, um, financial issues could have been a huge factor where it was putting stress on the relationship. And it's like with this reconciliation card, you guys are kind of coming back together or just back to yourselves. You know, it's like you guys were just so stressed out financially and now it's like you're starting to let loose, go out, have a good time with friends and family. And it's like you're forgiving yourself and learning how to um, better manage your money, uh, better manage friendships, you know, be well-rounded, not just put it, you know, work, work, work all the time. And also this person, you know, they could have been doing that where they were the ones that were work, work, work all the time. And now they're learning how to be more lovey-dovey or that could have been you. Anyways, Gemini, August 20th to the 22nd, 2021, Gemini. You versus them, one more shuffle, Gemini. Yeah, ascending at the bottom of the deck. So both of you guys are kind of elevating to a higher level. Um, I feel like this is individual growth, which is helping you guys in this connection. And this doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a friendship, partnership, a co-worker, a family member dynamic, some sort of support group, you know. But it's like, you know, and but this person is being more friendly to you. You know what I mean? It's like maybe in the past they weren't. Or they were just kind of being very demanding and having expectations or like saying nothing at all, right? And now it's like, you know, they're starting to kind of show you that they care more, okay? And this could be something that, you know, um, they're starting to show you their attraction towards you. 
um, they're starting to show you how they feel. Uh, keys on a ring. You guys can have a lot of options right now. And um, again, not enough. And this person could also be feeling like you're stringing them along, but that's just their insecurities talking, okay? Because with the engagement ring, I feel like, you know, you kind of have your mind set on who it is that you're wanting with this engagement ring. And if it's like a partnership with a person, it's like you're in complete union committed to yourself right now, you know, uh, with your goals, your dreams. See, hand of cards so your person it's like they they could be taking a chance you know and being more romantic this could have been something they were holding back from and now it's like they're gonna take a chance and they're gonna be like okay let me just try something else you know they're just trying a different approach now um as we're here in the center you know this could be a cycle where you guys tend to have a hot and cold relationship where it's like uh, something that needs to heal with this clock and it's gonna heal you know it's like um it's just taking some progress taking some time you know there could be some karma in the relationship that needs to balance out it's the heart with the key coffee cup ascending mask healing heart yeah it's like you guys have to be more vulnerable with the mask and healing heart be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light the dragon flame so again someone's just very closed off not showing how much they care and now it's like it's the perfect time to show how much you care and if, i feel like if they weren't they're going to start you know they could have been holding on to a lot of resentment guilt bitterness uh expectations demanding and i feel like you know now they're starting to show you how much they're attracted to you this could be something that you brought in with the law of attraction like gosh i want this person i just want them to show me that they love me more and you brought it in but now they're starting to just be more lovey-dovey towards you gemini august 20th to the 22nd 2021 gemini you versus them but i feel like you have your mind set on what it is that you want already in your life especially with that attraction card it's like you're just bringing it in towards you and it could be a past person someone that you have history with or someone that you know your childlike self um is your child self is kind of can be safe with you know like you can be your childlike self with this person you know you could be all fun and you know you could be they often say like when it comes to love you know you need to find someone where it's like your demons get along with their demons that's kind of what i'm getting from this card with this devil card it could also be a capricorn that you're dealing with gemini um but i feel like there's just a lot of passion here a lot of love here a lot of lust a lot of attraction and it's like you guys are being brought back together. But it's like you guys probably need to express love in a healthier way other than just um, passion, you know, like sex. Um, the person that you're dealing with might have more than one person here for some of you guys just because there's two arcanas on your side. Um... But for your person here, it's like they want long-term investments. I feel like, you know, they've made their choice about what it is that they want in life. They could be wanting to travel. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. But I feel like, you know, you could also be trying to forgive this person for maybe getting involved with someone else or um, having someone else. And... Okay, this is very specific, right? It's like, okay... If someone maybe, I don't know, had someone else, this person's going to be messaging and it's like you're going to be cutting them off. Like maybe you had two options and this other person's going to message you and you're going to be like, no, you know, like, you know, you already know what it is that you're wanting. So you're going to tell that other person no, or this could be them. You know, they had someone else that other person's going to message them and they're going to say no because, you know, they're wanting to get engaged to you. They're wanting this serious thing. Whatever it is with the Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, it's like... You guys already know your source of peace and happiness it's like with each other you guys already like have that like idea in your head it's like this is a comfort zone for you guys and it could also be a Taurus that you're dealing with you know your person they're wanting to be in some sort of serious commitment with you it's like you guys it could be like a boyfriend girlfriend thing and this person's wanting like a marriage thing and they're stuck between should I get married with you or should I leave you? Nine of Pentacles for some of you guys. It's very specific. Others of you guys, it's like um, 
they want a family with you they just have to overcome these temptations or these illusions or this thought that you know you're the one that's um wanting something else and again i feel like that's just expectations bitterness resentment that's still being hold on to where it's like if i don't get what i want i'm gonna leave it could also be a leo that you're dealing with or a pisces but either way it's like this person is overcoming that to show you that they do want this that they do want you see transformations are happening here with the empress this person learning how to be more loving and more nurturing in the past they could have been very focused on finances on career on work and with the five of swords i feel like they're cutting that off because that was very stressful that was leaving a lot of anxiety leaving them wondering well what is what are they doing you know they could have had work as a forefront and that was kind of taking away their happiness because i mean they could have thought that's what made them happy in the past but it didn't ten of swords so i feel like this person yeah it was actually taking from their happiness so it's like now spiritual warfare five of wands um they're pursuing new just they're taking a different approach in life and with you what's the moon card let me just do a little bit of clarifying and then i'll i'll move on to the other deck here that i wrote these myself and then i'll let you guys go okay so gemini august 20th to the 22nd what's the hierophant See, it's like this person, they're wanting to have a commitment with you with the moon card, Gemini. But it's like they're overthinking it. They could be overthinking it because of finances. And that's ending, though. See, it could also be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. See, it's like that's the inconsistent thought on their head. It's like the devil's on their shoulder that tells them, like, well, what if, what if you don't have the life that you want if you're with them? And again that's just like false worry that they just don't have to have so i i feel like you know this person's cutting it off because nine of swords it's just a lot of anxiety a lot of stress uh what's the strange card gemini's person page of cups and they're gonna learn how to speak more from the heart and be more vulnerable but it may not be in this time span like by the 22nd it'll probably be later on because my cards like to follow past, present, and future. And this is near the ending. So they're trying to learn how to be more from the heart and not so serious with you about work and money and finances and the future and investing. And, you know, they're going to try not to be so serious and express more love to you. This could be something, again, that you brought in. What's the Ace of Swords, Gemini? But I want to see here if this is a third party situation just because of those two arcanas there. See the devil card? It's like both of you guys, again, this is your comfort zone for both of you guys. Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, the devil card. So it's like ending it, Ten of Swords, there's really no desire to end it. It's sideways. Um, because it's like, you know, you guys have that strong connection. It's a strong, intense connection. What is the Six of Swords... See, this is a whole new cycle it's like someone healed emotionally it could have been them you know you guys were already healed and they you know now they're like kind of mirroring you now they're transcending you know they're healing and so now it's like both of you guys are leveling up you know the mask is coming off so uh what is the is this a third party what is the king of wands king of swords and the page of wands thank you so someone could have not been a third party but was talking to someone else or was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place about someone else who um, could have been more fun. And again, it's like they kind of already figured out that like, no, I don't want that person just because they're more fun. You know, I want you because you're more honest. That's just for some of you guys. Um, let me see here. But what is the Ten of Cups? But it's also just that this person was stuck at a crossroads, again, between being in a relationship, something long-term with you, or just doing their own thing and, you know, caring about work. This is something that they cut off. It's the eight, eight of Wands, Gemini. Yeah, it's like this was eating at their brain. It was, you know, it was kind of... Um, they also knew it would kind of destroy you. Like, it kind of screw you over in a way for some of you guys. You know, because they're being emotionally manipulative and caring about money 
in the past. This is Queen of Cups in the past. Um, past, present, future. So it's like they were at this crossroads and they were stuck between should I stay with them or should I just leave this person? And that I feel like that's something they cut off. They cut off and they decided to work on this. So what is the clock and express your love for Gemini? August 20th to 22nd. See, seven of wands. So again, I feel like just express your love. You know, this is like spiritual warfare. Having to be on the defense about listening to this inconsistency. What's the seven of wands? Like about work and money. The seven of wands. One more card, please. Or like that's fine. Thank you. Just major changes here with the tower card. And it could be in the communication. You know, you guys tend to communicate very little. And I got a fortune cookie today. I went to like a Chinese restaurant. And, you know, just never forget that um, a partial lie is not the full truth. Therefore, it is all a lie. You know, if like someone tells you something and leaves things out, like it's, it's a lie. So if I feel like you guys were just communicating in half truths in a way. Like, um, kind of saying how you feel, but not really what you feel. Or, like, saying what it is that you want, but not really for sure what it is that you're wanting. Or, and or it's, like, maybe including this person in your future. You know, it's, like, wanting success, but not kind of including the other person in it. You know, just whatever it is, that's changing. And, you know, that's, that is being changed. Seven of Wands and the Tower card. Yeah, King of Cups. Just something more loving. Okay, just more loving, uh, more nurturing, more expressing, more caring, more compassion. And see the Empress card, just more, more love. <laughs> okay, any other messages for Gemini with the tarot before I continue? Okay, just five of wands. You know, there's going to be some fighting. You might have to defend yourself, fight back, fight other people, argue. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune here... Uh, things are going to get better, okay? Things are changing for the better. So, again, I feel like this person kind of was stuck between wanting you and wanting a better life. And they aren't worried about that anymore. Gemini, August 20th to the 22nd. One more shuffle. Gemini, August 20th to the 22nd, 2021. And I'm not saying you have to take this person back. You know, whatever it is, it's up to you. You know, they could have spent too much time with their friends back then, and this is why. You know, they wanted, like, a better life, or their friends were telling them, just leave. And, you know, now it's like, they want to work on this. Can we fix slash start our family? Um, money focused. You see, they were just too focused on money. And I feel like that's something that they learned to get over. Gemini, August 20th to the 22nd, 2021, Gemini. Gemini in their person, August 20th to the 22nd, 2021, Gemini. So right off the bat, it says, um, this person, you know, they could be very judgmental of themselves and other people, but, um, you know, they tend to abuse substances to cope, whatever substance that is, you know, because they miss you guys. Um, they miss the connection you guys have. See, let's work together on top of the Four of Wands. They want to work with you. I think you're sexy. They think you're very attractive. Again, they're going to start showing you how attractive, how attracted they are to you. Okay? Because they need to stop being over, you know, judgmental. You see, trust me, please. You know, they don't want anyone else. They only want you guys. Too much social media. And that's honestly about social media. You know, um, I could be having a, a fantastic life on social media, but... You know, uh, I could be on not having a fantastic life on social media. That's the bad thing about social media is it's an illusion. You know, people just post the pictures they want you to see. You know, they post them having a good time. They're not going to post them when they're crying, you know, and like, I'm not even going to go there. Um, like, super sad. They're not going to post those pictures or those videos, you know. They're only going to post them when they're happy or getting a brand new gift or something like that. So, if this person spends a lot of time on social media, that's going to kind of... Um, make them i don't say delusional but kind of make them have a false sense of reality you know and that's not helpful to anyone you know um that's why people need to get out the house and talk to people you know but it you see you're all they want you're you're all they want 
they've like figured it out in the past a hard time right now but you guys are just having a hard time and i kid you not the number one reason for divorce is financial stability so if it was finances don't don't be beating yourself up or them up like oh i can't believe we let money get in the way it happens it happens okay i'm waiting on you this is in the past energy so you guys are both kind of waiting on the other person to like do something say something show they care and it's like you know all we have is time and you know if you wait for the opportunity to show up sometimes you miss the time you know so you have to sometimes make the opportunity when there isn't one but all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and close it out there this resonates with you guys you guys are more than welcome to like share leave a comment and subscribe much love thank you guys so much for watching please take care of yourselves and i'll be talking to you guys later thank you bye